Uh, Rosson, tell us about the dream that you had of test, playing uh, test match with the West Indies. Uh, well, growing up, the ultimate was always to play uh, test cricket for your country. It was not much 2020 or anything like that going around. So test cricket was always a dream as a youngster coming up. Uh, watching Brian Lara and Sarwan and those guys, that was just the, um, the goal and the dream coming up as a young cricketer. And growing up, which uh, has been the greatest test match that you witnessed? Uh, for me, growing up, the greatest test match that I witnessed was probably Brian Lara sc scoring the 153 in Barbados against Australia to win the test match by him with the tail in Barbados, my, my country, my home country. So I think for me that, that was a special knock. People still talk about it today. And uh, which has been the greatest test match you've been a part of? For me, I would say earlier this year against England, the England series in Barbados again, my hometown. I thought that that has been the best test match that I've ever played in. Not only because we won, but it's, it's how we won. I, I thought that we played very good cricket. We dominated the, um, the English in that game. And, and it was the first game of the series as well. So it was a good start for us. And all my family and friends were there. So it was very special for me. And I performed well in the game as well. And a lot of the guys performed well. It wasn't like a, a one or two guy that just did well. It was a collective effort. So I thought that that was the best test match for me as a team. And what do you remember of walking out wearing the <coughs> baggy cap for the first time in Test Match Cricket. And who did you receive it from? Yeah, it was a, a dream come true, as I said earlier. And I received my cap from Viv, Viv Richards, one of my idols. Um, he mentored me a bit before I played for the West Indies um, in the President's Eleven game. And me and him shared a lot of conversation. And we get along very, very good. So for him to present me with my cap, was a special moment for me and it was at his stadium too, the Viv Richards Stadium, so it was a very memorable We've moment for me. Sir Viv. He's been one of the greatest uh, servants of the game for West Indies. Uh, growing up, what do you remember? Which is that one special knock that you remember of Sir Viv? Uh, well, when I, grew up, well, when I was growing up, Sir Viv was already retired from the game. I didn't really watch a lot of him. I would say it was mainly Brian Lara for me growing up, Sasha and those guys, but Viv Richards, was um, retired already, but I just watched some, some highlights and some videos and tapes of him. Uh, I think he scored a double hundred against England. I think I watched that one on, on video and he hit the ball very hard and he just dominated all the bowling attacks around the world from what I, I, I watched as a youngster, but I never really got to watch him live or anything like that. And talking about someone who hits the ball hard, Chris Gale, someone that, that you have shared the dressing room with probably got him. Uh, end up as playing boots very soon. What are your thoughts of Chris Gale, the way he entertained the team member that you had always in the dressing room? Uh, well, I haven't played a lot of cricket with Chris. This is my first series actually playing in a team with Chris. I've played against him before, but um, he, he knew me from before and I knew him. We, um, he, always, he never passes, passes me. He always gives me a heel when he see, sees me. Um, he's a very easygoing guy, a guy that you can talk to at any time. He never turns you away shares um, all of his experience with the younger guys. And he, he's a real mentor to the young guys. He's, he's a legend. He's now played the most one days for, for the um, West Indies. And he's got the most friends in one day cricket. So as you can see, he's had a very fruitful career. And I wish him all the best in his uh, future endeavors. And now shift focus to Test Match Cricket again. Uh, the ICC Test Championships are around the corner. Starts with the India Series. What do you think? Uh, do you think the Test Championship, are you excited about that? Yeah, I'm very excited about it. I think that it is going to keep test cricket relevant with all the um, fast-paced cricket going on. I think it is give the, the, the fans something to, to be interested about test cricket again because people are saying that the, um, the test cricket is dying a bit because of the, um, the white ball stuff. But I just think that it, it will bring some, some life and some energy back to the test arena. And I, I, I think it's a fair, a fair um, assessment for the teams to, um, to prove who, who, who's the best team in the world. What do you think of the format that has been proposed, that has uh, been in works for quite some time? Do you agree with it? Do you like it? Yeah, I like the, the home and away um, challenge because some, some teams um, really only dominate at home. So I, I think it's a fair challenge, as I said, for guys to play away and then to come in their own backyard and, and defend their, their, um, their, home, their, home, their home territory.
Would it be fair to say that Test match cricket is probably your favourite format? Yeah, um, without a doubt, it's my favourite um, form of cricket. Um, I've only played a bit of one-day cricket, but I always look forward to Test cricket because it is the ultimate challenge and it, it is not a game where one session or a couple of overs could win you the game. You always have time to come back. Um, you have to play cricket for a longer period of time. Good cricket, I should say, for a longer period of time. So it really tests you and your character and your team as a whole. So I always look forward um, to, to playing test cricket. And the test team is a, is a younger team. Um, I've grown up with most of the guys. I've played most of my cricket with most of the guys. So uh, it's a very compact dressing room. The guys gel well. And we have a lot of fun in, in, in that dressing room. Right, talking about taking a cue out from your answer, like it involves a lot of endurance, stamina, and how do you prepare for a test match? Uh, well, I live in Barbados. I do most of my training at Kensington Oval with the BCA coaches. And once Roddy Eswick, who's here with us as a coach also, once he's at home, I always give him a ring. And we go down at the Oval and we put our work in. I do my um, gym work and my con conditioning work as well. So yeah, it is, it's never easy, but it is what I live for. I live for cricket, so I do anything to, to be ready for, for my job. So I just love the test cricket. A new change is going to be introduced in your favourite format, the test cricket. There'll be jersey numbers on your back. What are your thoughts on that? Um, well, I watch a lot of county cricket. I follow county cricket, especially when there are guys from the Caribbean playing there. I like to follow them in the championship. So I'm custom seeing numbers on the jersey, so it's nothing new to me. I guess that will be something new to like, a lot of the fans in the Caribbean because it's something um, new to them. But I don't have a problem with it. Um, I know it's traditional for you to have your playing weights, but I have no problem with the change. Um, I, I guess it will give some of the, the spectators a better chance of identifying you because a, a lot of people in the Caribbean nowadays don't really follow the cricket too heavily. So I guess if you're just coming to uh, pass through and have a look at the game, it would be easier for them to identify the players on the field while, while playing. So I won't say it's a bad thing, I just think it's uh, not traditional, but sometimes change is, is okay. Right, so tell us about the number that you would sport on your back. What's the story behind it? Um, well, my number is number 10. Um, when I came into the team, it was a choice of which numbers were available and one of the numbers was num number 10 and Sherwin Campbell, he is one of my um, schoolboy coaches uh, one of my Barbados local cricket club coaches so I say I would take that number in because I, um, I have a good relationship with him and he played in that number also so just wanted to take it up from him in that respect Okay, this is something that we got to know when we interviewed Kemar Roach. He wears number 24 yeah. and I've been told that he wants the number 10 because he used to wear jersey number 10 on his back and he's under 19 days. How do you react to that? Are you going to give that number 10 to Kemar? Oh no, number 10 is taken. No, it, it can't be replaced right now. Alright, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.